right until they get free agent. Okay, I'll call the July 9th, 2024 meeting of the Douglas Board of Selectmen um, to order. Uh, first is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Really, the first and last thing on our agenda tonight is a discussion of a proposed personnel policy bylaw um, change or adjustment. And uh, with us is Bob Sullivan from the Water Department. And you're here, so tell us about it. <laughs> um, so I'm sure you're all aware of all the projects that have been going on. Um, on top of all the projects, we also have been short staffed in the Water Sewer Department. Um, most of my staff hasn't been able to use vacation time regularly. So there's a lot of vacation time that wasn't used. Uh, instead of losing it, we looked at carrying over, but carrying over just puts us further down the rabbit hole and we can't catch up. So um, I looked at the option I had talked with Matt about. If we could look at an option to buy out the vacation so we're not trying to carry it over and continue down that path. So we do have a couple more projects coming up and we get rolling those and I'm going to be in the same boat again. And then we have a couple positions that haven't been filled yet. Um, those positions were funded so there is money in my budget to cover this. For the positions that were not filled. It makes good sense to me the staff's on board with what we're looking to do here as a yeah. solution to the problem. <coughs> All right. This was posted 10 days um, per the requirement of the bylaw. Is there anything else, Matt, that we should discuss yeah. before we approve this? So just to button it up, it, it is a policy, um, and we're following the process for the town administrator to make changes to personnel policy, which is not the same as a select board policy. There's a specific path that's laid out 10 days posting. Um, this policy will not set a precedent. It is specifically in the terms uh, of the document that, that just because we do this once doesn't mean we'll ever do it again. Um, for folks paying attention, this is for fiscal year 2024. So the reason why we needed to push this along tonight in a special meeting was because the town accountant and treasurer are running the last payroll of fiscal 24 in the next few days, so in order to be timely, um, we had to post the policy and ask for your authorization before that payroll is posted and paid. Um, <clears throat> we are in a pickle like many other water wastewater departments across the Commonwealth and many other places. There are fewer and fewer people getting certifications that are required for these positions. And the market price of some of the staff is through the roof. Uh, as a result, it's just pure economics. The supply is short, the demand is high, the price will go up. Uh, these are loyal employees who have really made a huge commitment to the town, coming in on weekends and holidays and on a rotating basis to um, make sure that these systems are running as they are supposed to be running and safe. Uh, we forget a lot about <clears throat> water and wastewater because uh, most people take it for granted. They turn the tap and there's water, they flush the toilet, it goes somewhere, it's all pipes in the ground. It's not something you see or smell unless you go out of your way to do that. Um, but it's actually what makes your home habitable. And so um, I didn't think it was a, a big ask from the systems manager and commission to try to keep these guys whole uh, because there's really just no way we'll ever have them use this time um, until they get uh, additional staff on board. So there's a lot of words on this page and a half, um, but that's really what it boils down to. Does it make sense to read the therefore, or are we good to move the policy as um, discussed tonight. That's your call, Mr. Chairman. I'm reading it into the record. It's only three short clauses. Yeah, let's do that. 
right. and for the people and purposes at home, I'll tell you that what we're looking at here is a document that ends with three things. One, licensed employees of the waste water, the water wastewater department shall receive from fiscal year 2024 funds a one-time payment payout of the vacation time they added remaining on balance as of June 30, 2024. Number two, the finance director is requested to undertake all steps necessary to implement this policy in the final payroll payment of fiscal year 2024 to be made in mid-July 2024. And third and final, this policy shall not be deemed as a pass past practice or setting a new precedent, the decision to pay out the accrued vacation time of these employees is based on the unique context of the current staffing model, staffing level, and shortage of qualified individuals in the general labor to fill these roles. So with that, I'd accept the motion. I'll make it. Go ahead. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, Proposed personnel policy for the wastewater um, employees. It's a good motion to me. I'll second it. Uh, made by Les, seconded by Ross. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's 4 0. Please uh, extend our thanks and appreciation to them. Now I take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Made second. by Mike, seconded by Ross. All those in favor? All right. All right. All right.